Alright, what is up guys? My name is Vrandy and welcome to my first Black Ops 3 live cutcom and I'm going to start off today. I'm just going to be playing some Team Deathmatch and Ground War with probably just the Locust. I might go switch to SVG, it just depends how I feel. It doesn't really matter though on the gameplay. I have a few things to talk about. Actually, I actually haven't written down if you see me looking down. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not too used to this. But uh, yeah, we'll get started. Ever since I've started playing Team Deathmatch, Mostly because of uh, Face Sprat because he plays it a lot and he seems to get good clips and the people in it do seem slightly more off. So it's a bit easier to play it. Ever since I've started playing Team Deathmatch, I just seem to get a lot of fringe, which I'm not complaining about, and Combine, which I'm not too great with. But I've seen people do great at Combine, so hopefully, hopefully I get good at that. My team does seem a bit better than his, or his, their team, so hopefully I can hit something decent for you guys. I've actually only had like one half warm-up game, so we'll see what happens, but I'm gonna probably play a few games within this video. I just want to talk about a couple things. Man, some days you just feel like your aim is off. It takes you forever to aim at somebody, and by that time you're easily killed. What I like to do on this map, but I'm sure it's the same for... 90% of you, is go to that middle spot over there and just look each way as they spawn especially with tdm and like free-for-all when the spawns are flipping you use this spot to be able to see no matter where they go okay so enough of that i'm just gonna try and play while i talk about this stuff but i'm gonna tell you guys about a story from when i was like in grade six if you don't know who i am by the way i'm in college right now going into university um second year i'm in my second gonna be in my second semester of second year uh transferring to a university from a college anyway talking about grade six uh, i went on a field trip uh, I live in Vancouver, British Columbia, up in Canada. For all you Americans, I'm sure a lot of you are American. I am not playing well right now. So we went to an inlet to go on a canoeing field trip. And on that canoeing field trip, we got to choose a partner and we'd all follow each other in canoes around the inlet. And we would go deep out there and like pretty much into the ocean the open water and it was pretty terrifying there were a lot of seals swimming around which was kinda nice but they would they would hit your hit your canoe anyway so me and my best friend at the time we buddied up and we were actually out of the whole class we were at the back of the line for the canoe train it was a very very windy day so it, like a grade six me I'm not strong right now as it is and back then it was just not fun but I uh, going against the current of the waves at the time uh, in that weather especially up here in Vancouver it was pretty difficult and I to say the least got stranded out in the ocean with my best friend for at least a few hours uh, while we were out there we both had our separate panic attacks and a simultaneous panic attack which was kind of fun not really we we cried okay <laughs> We had to wait, and we weren't sure if anybody was coming, right? Like, I would assume you're on a field trip, they're going to account for you and find you. But I don't know if they thought we would be back there. And they didn't really notice us drift away while we were on the trip, like, while we were canoeing. Like, we were like, shit, we're not able to keep up anymore. The wind caught us, we're done. And we literally tried so hard to get back to shore. And everywhere we went, it was ridiculously... Oh my god, like I'm doing so bad right now. It was ridiculously like difficult to get away. Like we got pushed to towards uh, a large, I don't know what you call them. They're like tankers, like big boats. Um, That's a kill. I'm getting one kill and then dying every single time. Like I feel so bad. So yeah, we had to wait a few hours out in the middle of the ocean trying to get back to shore as best we could in a canoe. So, by the way, I have a phobia of canoes now, so I'm probably not going to be canoeing anytime soon. Until they finally noticed that we were gone, and they called the Coast Guard, and they brought us in, they towed the canoe. Oh, that was last kill. I feel bad. So, yeah, we were we were fine, and everybody was like, what happened? And we just, I think we just were pretty secretive about the whole trip. We just didn't want to talk about it. It was done. We just forgot about it. I mean, I've told a few people, obviously, but I just thought it was an interesting little story. I mean, grade six, What? What? how old are you in grade six? 11 12 years old that's nothing so not much i could have done back then i have other stories too i guess i'll talk about them in my future videos yeah. anyway regarding the lichen recruitment video i am going to be trying my very best at creating like the the most polished um well-made video i have ever made for that i'm going to be doing basically a documentary about my youtube career because there is that much to to talk about and display for anybody who watches and uh i have high hopes for it but Obviously, I'm not going to get my hopes up too high because they do have limited roster spots, I would assume, and there's a lot of people that are going to be trying 
So I'm going to try my best. I'm going to put out as many videos as I can until then, as well as work on the final response to the Lycan recruitment video. And I'm going to, honestly, I'm just going to try and do my best. I'm going to show what I've done in the past. Um, Grizz, you might not know this. If you're watching this, um, you helped me quite a bit a few years back. And you'll hear more about that, I guess, in, in the recruitment video. It's not going to, I'm not going to talk about that part for too long, but you'll, you might remember. Anyway, yeah, so we're playing another fringe game. Hopefully, I don't do a shit this time. I've been warming up, so let let's hope it goes it goes well. There's a bunch of people up there. I saw like three heads go by. Show yourselves. So now I just can't find them. That's a pro oh. Like I want to put out good content for you guys, good diverse content, not just boring cut comms like this all the time. Not that this video is boring, but if I post repetitively. Um, it, it can get boring. I've ha I've experienced that by w watching YouTubers and just getting bored of what they're doing because they post the same thing all the time. And by the way, that's my girlfriend in the background. She's rude, so she's back there. But yeah, I'm gonna keep the content diverse. Uh, I'm gonna post as much as I can. I'm gonna try and keep it fun. I'm gonna get responses from the crowd. Wow, two kills in a row. That's like my first time today. That's crazy. Somebody up there. No doubt there's somebody up there. Hey. So for the content that I'm going to be posting, it's going to be mostly Call of Duty. I'm going to try and hit a bunch of clips for you in the COD videos that I do make, just to make it more entertaining um, in that sense. But also, I'm going to probably be playing some Counter-Strike, and I play Rust a bit too. That's a survival game. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to be posting a lot more this week and probably next week. I'm going to be working on my Lycan recruitment video. Uh, tons. Uh, yeah, so talk to you guys next time. This has been Via Randy, and I'm out. Peace.